We uh, had these Indo windows tested by Portland State's Green Building Research Laboratory, and they uh, put them through a whole battery of tests, and they found that an Indo window plus a single pane window gives you about 94% of the insulating value of a standard double pane window. Indo windows really wanted uh, information of this sort, so the thermal performance, glass, the noise abatement, and the leakage in relatively short order. Uh, they were ramping up production and they really wanted uh, some results. And one of the benefits of uh, the university environment is that we have a lot of very eager, talented graduate students who we can put on little projects like this. And it's really a win-win situation because uh, the students get a great deal of experience and it's really, uh, from, the, from, from their standpoint, a great educational benefit and then, of course, from the client's standpoint, it's a benefit because he gets the work done relatively quickly and relatively inexpensively. In our first set of tests, uh, uh, Sam was uh, expecting that his product would likely uh, turn a single pane window essentially into a double pane window from the thermal standpoint. And we pretty much, uh, you know, the measurements bore that out. We found that uh, a relatively you know, nice, low-tech solution such as his uh, added to just a standard single pane window, pretty much turned that single pane window into a dual pane window in terms of, of the thermal performance. It also uh, had uh, pretty good benefits in terms of noise abatement. In the lab we have uh, a range of equipment for doing this kind of testing, uh, including a thermal chamber which allows us to uh, provide a constant set of conditions for in this case, what turned out to be a uh, insulated box where the box simulates the outdoor environment, the laboratory is the indoor environment, and we put the window between the, the two environments, uh, conditioning the inside of the box, and then we can use standardized test procedures for actually evaluating the thermal performance of the window system. Uh, we can use the same box to do uh, both noise abatement tests and leakage tests. So this right here is the test apparatus uh, we built here in the Green Building Research Lab so we could test uh, Indo Windows products. So we had to construct this test apparatus so that we could mount a single pane window inside of this cavity. And then uh, we were also able to pop the Indo Window product over that so we could perform thermal acoustic and leakage tests. When we performed the thermal tests, we also used thermal environmental chambers. And we use that so we could simulate a winter design day inside of the test apparatus, which is zero degrees Fahrenheit um, and no solar radiation. And we used uh, a series of uh, thermal sensors and heat flux sensors in order to determine how much heat flow is going through both the single pane window and the Indo window. So this right here is where we actually installed the Indo window. It went over the pane of single, single pane of glass and just pulls right in and out. And this made um, for quick changeover from when we wanted to test the Indo window product and to when we just wanted to test the single pane. The box is constructed structurally out of two by fours and plywood and then um, we went around and used caulk to make sure it was sealed up really well because we had to do those leakage tests. Uh, after we made sure it was well sealed we put uh, rigid foam insulation and then we covered that uh, with a low emissivity um, coating which is this metallic coating you see and that was so that um, we knew we were getting accurate readings with our thermal sensors, so there wasn't uh, radiation throwing those, those readings off. We also have um, ductwork going in the top and out the, the back side, and that is so we can make connections to the thermal chambers so we can um, pipe in that winter design air into the chamber. Yep. This lab is uh, set up to test a wide range of uh, building facade techno uh, technologies. Uh, ranging from windows to, to wall construction materials. We can measure in this lab how windows perform in terms of thermal performance, of course, but also noise abatement and leakage. This whole facility is set up to work with industry as well as other researchers across the Oregon University system to look at green building technologies, uh, both in terms of development but also testing and evaluation of, of different individual technologies and systems. So I direct the Green Building Research Laboratory here at Portland State University. 
this laboratory represents a collaboration across campus and with the other OUS uh, institutions, uh, focusing on problems of the built environment. We look at a range of topics from individual technologies that can be deployed in buildings to improve energy efficiency to envelope systems that might uh, improve the thermal performance of the exterior of buildings. And we're also looking at the interactions between buildings and the built environment. So here at Portland State University and uh, at universities throughout the state, uh, we really have a long tradition of focus both in terms of research and education on sustainability and uh, green technologies. And so this project is just one example of many uh, where we're seeking to improve the built environment. And so we look at problems at a wide range of scales, everything from uh, individual technologies that can be deployed in buildings to improve energy efficiency to looking at the building envelope and how different technologies can improve the thermal performance of, of buildings, um, and all the way up to how, how the built environment responds to design decisions at the building and district scale. So we're looking at uh, issues uh, including things like urban heat islands. At any given time, the center uh, is pursuing a, a large number of uh, different sorts of projects uh, that address those types of questions. As engineers, we really tend to gravitate towards you know, complex, high-tech solutions. So what's really unique and uh, really cool about this is it's a very low-tech solution that is actually quite effective. The beauty of the product is it's, you know, it's, it's really the simplicity of it, right? Some inventions are to get you more power or more complexity, uh, but some inventions are really beautiful because they simplify things to their very simplest essence. And I think that's what an Indo window is. It represents the simplest solution to a really huge problem. Uh, from an environmental point of view, uh, there's tons and tons of energy going out these windows. And we've come up with a very simple and elegant solution that just is really easy to go into a window frame. Windows, in general, are, are one of the uh, most significant areas where homes lose energy. This is particularly true in older construction where you have single pane windows. And that's exactly the target market that uh, Indo Windows is, is going after. And in such situations, uh, you can very significantly impact the thermal integrity of the envelope of the house and save quite a bit of both heating air and air conditioning energy use. Now, you know, again, we can model this in building energy simulation codes, but what will be more telling will be the field measurements that we're planning to do as a part of this pilot study where we will be uh, not only uh, measuring the performance uh, in these homes, but also modeling it, and the idea there is that if we can match our modeling efforts to our measurements here in Portland, we can then learn, uh, we can train the models to perform better, we can then trust the models because of the validation with the actual data, and then we can export our models to other climates. So we can model the same kinds of homes, the same product in different climates, and say with some confidence how they'll perform across the country. Thermal Im imaging is, is a very powerful tool uh, in the building sciences, it's becoming more and more common. Uh, you can use a thermal camera, of course, to look at potential issues of heat loss in buildings. If you point a thermal camera at the outside wall of the structure, oftentimes you'll see the studs going up and down the walls because they are what we call thermal bridges, bringing heat either in or out of the building. And so you can find issues like that. You can find issues associated with leakage around windows because you'll see little hot spots or cold spots, as the case may be, of heat moving in and out of the building uh, through, through locations that are not as well insulated as, as they should be. And so the, the thermal imaging is great for that uh, sort of detective work to find out why a house is not performing as well as it ought to. Uh, it can also be used for a wide range of other um, applications like looking for water leakage in a house. Uh, you, you'll see 
Uh, if you point a um, thermal camera at a wall and there's a little bit of leakage, you might not be able to feel it on the wall with your bare hand, but if you look at it with a thermal camera, you'll see a slight cold signature associated with where the water is tracking.